Hi, I'm Shristi, and in this video, uh, we're going to have a look at how we create vertical modules uh, using the new mean stack structure. So if you've had a look um, in modules, you note that um, we've got a couple of modules that have been kind of pre-populated as part of creating um, the mean stack app. Um, I did select to create a chat module as well, and I will show you um, how that works, or you could go and have a look at that. Um, in your app. Um, but what I wanted to do today is look at how do we actually add a new module here. If you've, if you've tried using the CRUD module process, it may not have worked for you. Uh, in fact, it probably didn't. Um, so how do we actually create one of these things? Well, to do that, we'll pop into our command line tool. So I'm going to open up PowerShell. Uh, let's get that up. There it is. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is just, as we normally would, is CD into the directory where our app is sitting. So Let's go ahead and do that. Um, once we're in that directory, what we want to do is uh, use the mean.js generator to create a vertical module. Um, and it's as simple as we say yo mean.js. Uh, then we do, um, and just make sure you don't have any spaces there. So vertical module and then we put in the name of the module. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger here. So if I want the name of the module to be customer, for example, I would put customer in here. Just hit enter. All right. Now um, what mean.js will come back or what the generator will come back and ask us is which, um, which folders do we want to include as part of our module? Um, so you can go ahead and select the ones that you want. So just by um, using the arrow keys and just hitting the space bar. Um, and that will go ahead and select those for us. Um, and it'll also ask us if we want to add the CRUD module um, links into um, a menu. So we can do that too. So I'll just hit uh, yes. Um, it'll ask us for an identifier. You can just leave that as the top bar. So you can see that it's uh, found the modules folder and created all of these new files for us within the customer's module. So let's go and have a quick look. Jump, jump over to modules. Um, and then you see here's our um, brand new customers module sitting right there, ready for us to get into. Um, and that's what we'll be doing in the next few videos. Well, I hope that helped. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details. And I'll see you again soon.